my channel where we do lots of unboxings over here. It is FabFitFun season right now, you guys. The summer box just launched and I just made a video showing you guys all of the customization options for the summer box. And we talked about it, I broke it down, we went through all of the items and I have with me my PR box today. So I customized my entire PR box with items that I thought my viewers would want to see in person. Now keep in mind that customization does open up for annual members on April 19th. So if you would like to get first dibs at customizing your box, you would need to sign up with my link and code down below as an annual member, and then you can customize your entire box and get first dibs to all of the products. <laughs> So this is the FabFitFun Summer 24 box that we are opening up here. Inside, I have six items that I chose from all six categories. Now, if you guys are interested in seeing all of the spoilers for the summer box, I will post a video link right up here for you. That way you can go check it out. But as always, if you are interested in purchasing either as a seasonal quarterly member or an annual member, I do have a link down below for you. I also have a 20% off discount code Code available and they sent me for the first time ever if you want to sign up as an annual member I have a deal where they will give you a free bonus bundle if you use my link and code so I've got that down below there too for you just in case so first item is this $900 item I don't actually think it's $900 you guys so if you saw from my spoiler video the spoilers that FabFitFun sent over they included this cooler and I was like oh that's a great looking cooler and then and right below it, it says $900 for the retail value. And I was like, I think that's supposed to be 90. I think it was a typo, but now that's just how I'm remembering it. So this is the $900 bag. We're gonna put that in quotes. This is the cooler that is available for this summer. Now for starters, I love this trim, you guys. It's so cute. And the color is just gorgeous. It's like this blue and green vibe with the cream color. I love it. It's so stinking cute. So this opens up and this is gonna be your larger cooler slash tote bag here. There are two handles across the top. I look at, look at this. Ah, I love that. And then it's also got the matching strap to go with it and the shoulder strap actually is padded here. So that was a surprise. I didn't expect to see that in there. Now the straps feel really good. I mean, they're really solid pieces here. So I do think they're gonna be really sturdy. As far as the hardware goes, I do think these are nice cause they're adjustable. So the strap can rotate if you need it to. And I feel like the clasps are good. I don't think these are gonna break easily at all, so I feel like quality feels really good on that. Now, there is a zipper across the top, which I love, because if you are putting cold items in, I like to always seal mine up, that way it's not you know, letting the cold out. Let's just keep it in there. Zipper's nice, I think that's awesome. And then it does open up really wide, and this is really insulated too. So you can tell that it's insulated in there. You can wipe this out for clean, easy removal if you need to. But it feels really thick. Like the sides of these feel thicker than the cooler I even have right now. Like this is unusually thick. They're just plushier and just thicker than what I'm used to. So I do like that. I also feel like there's a lot of room in here. Now I know FabFitFun showed online that you could take this shopping with you as like a reusable bag and I thought that was a good idea. Or you could totally take it with you if you're vacationing anywhere also and then have that. But isn't it cute? I do approve of this one. I think it's good quality. I think it's good size. It's made well and I like the way it looks. Now, of course, I love beauty. I have so much beauty on this channel that I could not say no to beauty in my FabFitFun box. So in category number two, I went with the Volition Serum. This is a gradual tanning serum. What I like about this product is not only will it give you a gradual tan, so it's not supposed to be streaky. It's not supposed to color your hands either like a traditional tanning product will but it's also hydrating. So they've got in here niacinamide, 
ceramide, there's peptides. So it also doubles as a traditional serum where you're getting that hydration for your skin. But with a few days and with some time in there, it will give you a gradual tan and it is supposed to adjust with everybody's skin. So I've not tried this product. Honestly, you guys, I will try this out and if I film and make a video and I look like I'm 20 shades darker, you know what happened. But I am gonna try it out and see what it's like. In theory, I love the premise behind this. The brand is also really good. It's cruelty free and this is a full size jar that we have here. It's 30 mil or one ounce. So I think this is gonna be a really promising product. And then you can use this anywhere on like your face or your neck area and it will do that gradual glow. So I think this is gonna be a good one. At the very least, even if I don't see the tanning results that I want from it, it's still gonna give me great hydration. In category number three, I did go with the candle option in this category. This is from the Homesick Company and the name of the candle is Cheers to You. This is an eight ounce glass jar candle and I believe this one is a coconut wax blend I saw online. Now they said, in the spoilers that it is supposed to smell like Bali. And I have never been to Bali, so I'm not gonna be able to confirm or deny that, but it does say that it is a citrus and peony flower blend. So I'm gonna smell this today and let you guys know. The lid itself is bamboo and it does seal on here, which is nice. And then it is a single wick candle. So let's smell this. Ooh, okay, this is great for summer. Like I said, I don't know if it's Bali or not, but you definitely get both of those notes. You can smell the citrus and there's a touch of floral in there as well. It is not too much of either or. So I feel like it's a great balance, but it feels warm. It feels like summer to me. I mean, instantly I'm like, yeah, this is a summer candle. So I like that they gave us one that's applicable for the season. I like this one and I'm not a huge floral lover. I don't mind having a little bit of floral, but I don't like, you know, like flower garden. Like it's just, I like the real flower gardens, but in a candle form, I just don't love all the floral scents because it's just too much for me. This is not like that. That's basically what I'm trying to tell you is if you're like me and can't handle an all flower candle, this one is fine. It's just a touch of it and it smells really good. For my fourth choice, I decided to go with the heel cream. Now in this category, there weren't a lot of options that I just loved, but this one, I think I'm gonna really enjoy. So it is designed to give moisture back to your feet and it says that it's going to be a souffle texture. So it's supposed to be whipped and really light and airy, but it also mentions that it will help to heal any cracked heels that you might have. Isn't that funny, heal a heel? <laughs> but it is supposed to help with dry skin. There is an expiration date on the bottom that says 2025, so we have plenty of time to use it. I mean, honestly, if you don't use it all this year, you could definitely use it by next year for sure. You'd get two seasons out of it. It does state that you wanna put this on clean, dry skin, and you could also put this on elbows and knees as well. So if you don't wanna use it just on your feet, it is multi-purpose. So anywhere that you might have some dry skin at, this is supposed to help with. Now, the top ingredients, the first one is water, but then we have shea butter in here and glycerin. So I do like that. There's also cocoa seed butter, which is hydrating, so that's awesome. The only thing I don't like is the print is so small on here. I mean, it's just the tiniest little print for ingredients. But I like that it's got almond seed oil in here as well. There's a lot of hydrating ingredients. And yes, we're gonna open it up here because we're gonna check this texture out. So that way you guys can see what it looks like. So as I mentioned, it is a whipped cream. The scent on this, it's strong. It is essential oil strong in my opinion. So if you like essential oils, you know it's a very natural scent, but you know how it is a very aromatic scent and you'll notice it right away. This is like that. It reminds me of aromatherapy. So it's a very strong scent, but it's not like strong chemical or strong fragrance. It smells natural, but it is a stronger smelling scent. In category five, I went with the Earth Harbor product. Like I said, I am so loyal to this brand that when I see them in anything, I always choose this product or this brand because they're just that good. 
So this is their Biotic Perfecting Serum. It is their full size serum at one ounce 30 mil. Earth Harbor is all cruelty free and they use plant extracts. So it is clean beauty. Additionally, they donate a portion of their profits towards the Planet Fund. So they have a percentage of that. They talk about it on their website as well. But I love that you are doing good by their products. And that's why I'm so loyal to them because I feel like they're good products, but you're also getting great things for your skin and it's good for the planet as well. So this one is called the Sam Fire. I think that's how you pronounce that. Sampire, Sampire, something like that. But this is their perfecting serum. It is a potent multitasking five in one treatment that will clarify your skin, balance it out, exfoliate it gently, calm down any inflammation and redness and blur signs of aging. This is a true jewel, it says. This does have 2% BHAs inside of it and they get it from beads. So it is a natural exfoliant. And it says that this is a gentle exfoliating acid and it is a salicylic acid alternative. So if you have sensitive skin, this is great because it's not as harsh as some of those other acids are, but it will still help to break down that texture. And the last item that I chose for my FabFitFun box today is the planter. Now this is in category six. It I am a huge plant mom. I always need planters around, but I also wanted to get this and verify if it was good quality or not before buying it, because there's nothing worse than when you see something online and then it's not what you think it is. So that is why I chose it for my box because I was like, I will know if I like this or not as soon as I see it. So this is not only the planter, but it also comes with the saucer and I love that. So you have drainage for your plant and this will just set right on top of it like this. Now what's great is that it's two separate pieces. They don't lock into each other or anything like that. So if you do want to take this off, clean it off. Maybe you do have too much water. You can clean it up, rinse it off, then set this right back on top. So personally, I like the separate ones better, but like I said, you do have a drainage hole here. This is a four and a half inch pot, so it's good size, and it's going to have this cream speckled design. So I feel like aesthetically, it's so pretty because it's gonna go with everyone's home decor. It's got a minimalist look to it, and I just think it's gonna go really well. And then if you add green, like think about a plant in here, like a really rich green pothos would look amazing in this one because that green contrast, oh, it just looks stunning because this kind of gives me like earth vibes, you know what I mean? So inside you will notice that the glaze does not go down the entire pot. That is intentional. I did ask FabFitFun just to verify I didn't have like a bad one here, but the glaze does not go down the entire lining of the pot. So just keep that in mind if you do order it. But this is what that saucer will look like. And then it is raised up a little bit and elevated so that way it will keep it up off and that way it will have proper drainage. So yes, I approve of this from one plant mom to others out there. This is a good quality pot. So that is everything inside of my FabFitFun box, my PR box specifically. Now I do have an annual subscription myself that I pay for, so I will also be customizing on the 19th for my items. I love what I have here. There is nothing in this box that I would say stay away from, so I am going to give my approval on all of these products. I do think the cooler is really good, you guys, like really good quality. I like the look and feel of it. The planter, really nice. I think the candle is going to be subjective if you like those scents or not. It's a decent product, but I don't think I'm gonna choose it again in my personal box. I think I'm good with that. But I do like the Earth Harbor a lot, but I am a bit biased because I love that brand. And the Volition brand, I love that product, but I think I'm gonna go with the body moisturizer in my own just so I can have both of them. That way I can have a tan face, neck, and body. If you guys are interested in purchasing the FabFitFun Summer Box, I do have that link down below for you. Customization will open up on April 19th for annual members and you get first dibs at customizing your box. Additionally, you also will get your box faster as an annual member because it ships out right after that. So comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Are you gonna choose any of these products for your box? Let's chat. I'll be curious to see what 
are the popular items this season. So until next time, beautifuls, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all in my next unboxing video. Bye!